Howdy champs, my name is Mohit uh, and people. Today I'm gonna talk about uh, open source alt open source alternatives to uh, Dreamweaver and Windows and Camtasia Studio. How do you actually make a website? How do you edit your HTML and CSS if you don't have Dreamweaver? For whatever reason, if maybe you think it's expensive or, or whatever, right? And uh, what do you do if you don't have Windows? and how do you record your uh, screencast if you don't have Camtasia Studio. I'm gonna talk about uh, these subjects today. Okay, now one of the best open source alternatives to Dreamweaver if you wanna edit your HTML and CSS, work with HTML and CSS is Bluefish. I'm actually using just the same version 2.2.4, right? It's simple, it's quick, very very easy to use especially for beginners, it's a boon. Okay, uh, I'm also using Linux uh, Mint Cinnamon version 15. It's so very lightweight. It's so very quick. I'm booting through the USB simply because I had to, as my hard disk has crashed. Okay, so my reason for working with Bluefish and Linux and another open source software, Record My Desktop to Screencast, or Record My Screen, is uh, Record My Desktop game tree all these three softwares are open source so the video that you're viewing right now okay is doesn't actually cost a penny really you know uh, loosely speaking obviously you have to invest on the in in the hardware and the electricity or whatever right so uh, let me just show you the, the kind of resources uh, my Linux is using at the moment give me a sec system tools get the system monitor up okay uh, look at the kind of resources uh, CPU uh, at 9 9 10% approximately right and the memory 19% of the only two gigs that I have at the moment All right Linux simply rocks when uh, you have um, you know a system which is not very powerful and uh, you don't have too much too uh, too much resources so as you can very clearly I'm using a, a dual core uh, processor 2.7 GHz right I'm not using an i3 or, or an i5 or an i7 so pretty lightweight as you can clearly see out here I still have uh, you know, I'm just using one fifth of the memory 2 gigs very lightweight okay let's get rid of the screen now right uh, I'm mainly going to talk about Bluefish as the HTML CSS editor. It's, it's, it's not a cool thing, you know, to do your JavaScript or jQuery out here. You don't get any kind of a code hinting. Although you can, uh, you know, just write the script out, but it's not, the, you know, it's not ideally meant for JavaScript. But for people who want to work with HTML, CSS, PHP, right. right. So let, let's show you a quick demonstration on how actually things work in this environment Bluefish 2.2.4 people it's just 3 MBs of download and 9 MBs on your hard disk I don't even have one you know I don't even have a I have a crashed hard disk that's why I'm actually working in this environment and uh, it's just being you know saved in the uh, RAM everything is inside the RAM it's still working perfectly right so what you need to do is uh, when you actually want to start your HTML uh, document go to the standard tab go out here uh, choose whichever uh, metas you would actually want have you ever seen I'm gonna get rid of this option first of all open in a new document I would want to open in the same document you see your doc, doc type declarations are out here I'm gonna go with HTML5 your title goes out here so XYZ or whatever okay your metas are out here let's see I just want one meta and not the rest I've not seen the you are giving me these kind of options you see it doesn't give me these kind of metas I'm going to remove all the other metas except one. Okay, I'm going to go to the style uh, uh, tab or the style category. And yes, I would want an external style sheet using the link tag, not the imported uh, command. And uh, let's say the name is ext.css. I don't have it ready yet, but let's assume. Okay, you can uh, is you know you can just skip media and title and. Uh, if you want internal or embedded styles, you can uh, choose this option create empty uh, style area. No, I wouldn't want it to open a new document. Just skip this option. Go to the script tag. Yes, let's say I would want to use an external uh, JS file. So ext.js goes out here. And if it's internal, you want to you know code uh, your script internally. 
you want to, if you want to embed it inside your document you can choose this option create empty script area you're actually done let's say okay let's see what happens uh, in your index.html file let me just save it uh, the doc type has been inserted out here and uh, the title goes out here the meta goes out here the link tag linking to an external side sheet which is not ready yet uh, has gone out here so it's automatically inserted dhref rel relationship and the type attributes out here the opening closing style text with text attribute goes out here the type attribute i'm sorry uh, goes out here equals uh, text for slash css right the uh, script tags go out here there's some uh, comment left out here basically you can just insert your uh, javascript out here all right so uh, we have the body uh, opening closing out here and let me show you a demonstration how quick and you know simply things work out here in this environment bluefish uh, 2.24 let's go to the list tab let's say I would want to insert an uh, unordered list I'm gonna go out here let's say choose an unordered list let's say four of them and let's say okay and see how quickly we have uh, the allies pushed inside the opening closing ULs inside the uh, body tags let's say let's push in some text out here item one and let's say item two now let me show you how quickly we can actually work with the um, uh, styles you know basically the CSS let's go between the opening closing style tags out here line number seven and eight and nine in eight basically let me go to the CSS tab let me click this option out here let me choose a selector let's say UL property to use let's say you know, there are so many other selectors too let's say color okay and I can go out here choose a color or else I can just you know pick up a color name from here let's say orange let's say add and let's go with another property let's say I'm sorry let's say um, font family and how about uh, cursive add that to let's say okay I'm actually done you see in the opening closing script tags I have the UL uh, uh, tag selector going with the color set to orange font family set to cursive right people uh, and uh, you see there are so many options to insert a form if you would want to so many of them so very easy okay uh, from here you can actually let's say insert h1 or h2s uh, right and there are so many other options too that you have out here you, you can insert your uh, html5 tags from here let's say for example uh, about uh, video tag you see it's so very easy this just point to the source and the poster and all the options are out here you don't have such options in dream viewer guys all right so table let's click out here table wizard right how many number of rows do you actually want how many numbers of uh, uh, columns do you actually want right and some other options so way way cool very very cool really zen coding I, I don't know how to zen code but for people who know how to zen code you know there are some options out here too all right so people uh, in a nutshell an open source software blue fish 3 MBs to download uh, sorry yep 3 MBs to download and after installation takes up 9 MBs on a hard disk and you can actually grab it from let me tell you uh, bluefish.openoffice.nl right this is the even for windows user we have the windows version too it's not that you can just use it inside linux you can use it inside windows too all right hardly takes up any space and i was just reading the reviews easy and simple very good app user friendly good interface uh, fast and simple yes it's fast and simple how software should be written great job and uh, surprising made my job done and whatever so uh, you know uh, a great alternative to dream beaver if you want things quick simple and easy right S and uh, as I've already pointed out Linux is very low on resources you know doesn't uh, uh, it doesn't suck on your uh, your memory and your CPU if you have a slow system or an old system and even otherwise you know it just works in a snap it's very quick and uh, record my desktop is the other open source software that I'm using to record this uh, session that uh, you're viewing uh, right now so people I hope uh, this information was useful to you and uh, do give uh, bluefish a try 
doesn't get me anything only gets you something right uh, I hope to see you very soon you have a good day bye bye peace